Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body and Twin Flames Merge. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame located in Chicago, other than when I'm traveling. I'm here in the Windy City, which is getting windier. So how are you today? Well, once again, we have a video to talk about some of the things that you need to know about, because that is what I am here to help people with. What you need to know, not what you want to hear, but what you need to know about this because it's on. This is something that people will find that it really is encouragement for them. Please start getting with the program and please start engaging with the parts of you that are actually new. How do you do that? Well, a lot of people don't even know how new this is. And a lot of people would just like to say this is just for this level. It is for this level. You're here to be in love in the physical. You're here to physically be together. That's not a misconcept. That is real. And yes, there are people together. And there are people not together. Part of my story and why I teach this is the only way I have had to go by is my body and my heart. And I don't mean, you know, the body in terms of putting my body with another person's. I mean my twin flame body. That has been what has been able to show me things, give me information, be able to glean what is really happening. And yes, this is how I've also put my material together. Because my story is this. I've been dreaming about the person without even knowing what it was. And in fact, I thought everybody had these dreams, but they don't. They don't. And now it's like taking on proportions where this is a thing. And it's time to scale this to what it really is. It's time for some straight talk about what this really is. You're here to integrate a brand new twin flame body. And some people are going through the twin flame process. Some people are going to come out of it and have integrated. And what does this all mean? It means that it enables you to feel love, which is a multidimensional experience through your twin flame body. That means that in order to bring the love in that actually sustains you, and there's a word people like to throw around that makes me want to scream sustainability. It's not that things shouldn't be sustainable, but you can't sustain something that's old school or old paradigm, really the old paradigm, because some of us like old school stuff, brings a sense of good nostalgia. But what about all the bad stuff? What about the bad memories, the hurts, the traumas, the things that have happened, the things that have been the lost people, the lost angelics? What about that? Do you even know Maybe not. Maybe you don't need to know. You just need to feel better. Are you wanting to feel better? And I would ask you a question. How do you define love? Do you only define love by what's here, by what you see? In other words, is it only sex? Is it only marriage? Is it only some companionship? Is it only someone texting you once every six months? Is that really love? Or are you ready for your mind-blowing twin flame body experience because that's really what you're here for and this is why some people are finding out that there is more to this and yet sometimes you don't have the full picture I have the full picture and in fact I've been um, through it on purpose I feel so that in a way sort of a methodical way so that I could document it so do you define love only by what's here? Please don't. Please be willing to expand yourself. Expand your heart. Let yourself feel love back. But you have to get your channels open in order to do that. When you have your channels open, you're able to reciprocate love back and forth. If you feel like this is a one-way street and you're always carrying the load and somehow you're just like 
tired, you're battle weary, you're worn out, you're tired of it. It's time to shift that. And I know exactly how to shift it. And I do it through the body. So let me ask you a couple of other very leading questions here to really get you to feel. And I don't want you to just watch the video. You shouldn't actually be trolling and looking for this and looking for that and looking for that and thinking that that satisfies. Because eventually it will not satisfy the mind. Your body is brand new. The twin flame body is actually brand new and requires your attention requires your participation, requires you to get adept at a few things. So hang on and be ready to keep your oxygen mask close by because even though you're tired, there are still some things that um, you'll go through so that you can really uh, learn about this. Ideally, you learn with me where you're going to get the highest possible information that I can possibly provide you along with personalized what do you need what do you what are you focusing on right now how is your inner masculine well are they feeling well in other words are they feeling well do they feel okay do you even wonder about that are you having trouble feeling what is going on on the other side? Do you feel like you're losing the thread? Are they tired? How many times, if you're female, how many times has your inner masculine had to rise to the challenge for you or fight other people off or deflect things or defend you? That gets very tiring. It gets just as tiring. Um, probably what is tiring even more is running and chasing. In fact, running and chasing will be passe. That is going to become very passe. And people, it becomes like this little game of hide and go seek where pretty soon one of the kids is just like, okay, let's call it a day. I got to go home. I got to drink some water. I'm tired. That's what happens, right? Now, if you're a female, are you feeling that your girl is safe? Your inner girl, not just the inner child, which could be both of you. How is your inner girl? If you're a man, how is your inner boy? Is he safe? Does he feel like there's always a challenge? Are there like gauntlets being thrown down by other men on a daily, almost a daily basis? What's up with that? Do you feel like you're halfway like this, like swords ready to be drawn, okay? And you're kind of leery about what's going on with things. What if you're not sure about what you've been shown, okay? And if what you've been shown is feeling detrimental, come and see me because this is time to start getting it shifted for you. You're not here to be oppressed like this. You're not here to be taken advantage of like that. And this is what I do. I do it far beyond what it can take people in 10 years of therapy. Yeah, we do have to meet for a session. But yes, that those sessions end at some point. And the person themselves is feeling better, feeling themselves and feeling and feeling, which is very important. Can you feel actually feeling the love? Okay. What is being shown to you? Now, a lot of people will um, say you have to actually, you know, put up with this, put up with why? Why? Your twin flame body doesn't want any more of that stuff. It's going to reject all of it. And in the process, you might not feel very well. And in the process, that word sustain, you're not being sustained properly. You're not being cared for or nurtured or even paid attention to. Who's doing that? Right? So I actually always like to get inspiration from music. And God bless the musical people, the musical, artistical people. 
because they actually keep things lively. You don't need a psychic to tell you, oh, the masculine is very, very sorry. Oh, the masculine this. You got the masculine right there. You have your own masculine from other places and timelines. You each took a turn. People have been singing about this in the 1950s. Oh, my love, my darling, I've hungered for your touch. Right? 1950s. There he is standing on sentry duty. And he's singing, uh, uh, inspired totally by a love song. That's the backstory of that one. Okay? Get up to the 60s. You have a lot of the Beatles songs. Not just the Beatles either. God, there's so many songs to select from. How many of you were driving around cars as a teenager and like listening to the songs, listening to the AM radio, and listening to some of this? How about if you get into the 70s? I want to kiss you all over and over again till the night closes in. Yeah. He's got what but one desire. That's a song by Exile. I'm sure you've heard it. And sometimes these things have been a part of the fabric of your life. And so I'm telling you, the masculine has been singing this stuff for a long time. It's not that they don't know. Now, let's get on the other side. What if you're a man? Are you tired of sustaining things for everybody else? And is it kind of starting to feel like that? You're just propping up everyone else. They're just climbing on your shoulders. Everything's like a ship going down and they're looking to you or climbing on you for something right? That can happen. But it's actually not what you're really here for. You too are here for a multidimensional experience of love. You may not know how much your own love has been thwarted and twisted and corrupted into other relationships. It's time to pull yourself so that you have all of you for you. It's time to learn how to do this so that you too are not affected by people that are just out for their own interests. So how do you do this? It means get yourself the top level help that you need, either my causal body session or a psyche body session. This one is good if you have um, traumas, past traumas that you sense. In my sessions, I also get information on your past lives. And not even just past lives here. Past lives in other timelines and other levels. Whatever went down, whatever went south, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. That is where we start fixing things. Fixing it and I give you instructions to do in the next several days so that you can keep the process going for yourself. Now, these sessions, because of the depth of traumas and so forth, get required, it is uh, actually required to have more than one session. So we set that up so that you do a series and you finish at some point because you will have cleared these things. So for to give you an example, I have helped get people back behind the wheel. They've had a fear of driving. If he had a fear of, you know, and these, these are phobias. These are what you could call irrational fears. But where do they come from? They come from the same place that all the damage has come from, the past. What about the causal body? The causal body is actually for you to start manifestation. Manifestation. Now, that sounds like, one of those words where you're saying, oh, manifestation, how about the word abundance? How about the word flow? Getting in the flow, getting your mojo back, getting the part of you that can create again, getting you connected so that 
what you want to do or what you want to do for a living or what you want to do as your mission can start flowing again. It's very personal because it has to do with what your higher self is sustaining for you. So there's things to know about that part of you. These are each a subtle body. These have several connections. These have several connections, and these are things that you've shared. So that means if it's happened to one of you, the other one can feel the ill effects of it. The other one can have the phobias just as well. So if you have strange odd occurrences happening for you, that would probably be the best session for you to have. Very strange, odd, um, weird, uh, traumatic, weird dreams, nightmares. That is where people have gotten most deeply affected. Do you know what your psyche is really for? It's for your passion. That's the depth of your passion. That is, And so just imagine if that is a damaged part, how much passion can someone really muster up? Sometimes it's all people can do to get out of bed or to, you know, look at the internet or to start doing things. So you focus on you with the help that you really need because as a twin flame, there's two of you. This is uh, one of the things that you're going to know about the body is there is, you've gone past the point of no return. There is no going back. There's no going back to old addictions. There's no going back to old people. There's no going back to old situations. A lot of people wanted that door closed, and it's closed now. And we're turning the corner here. It's been almost an entire decade since we have ended karma. So I'm talking sense to people. If you want to hear fluff, this is not the channel for it. If you want to hear what you need to know, because I've been saying it all along, you could look at you could look at the titles of films for crying out loud and see a progression of like what is going on. You can look at the titles of my videos and see a progression of what is going on. And yes, there is some repeat stuff. There's people repeating things that are outdated. There are people repeating it because for them, it's new. It's new information. This thing about like, well, Twin Flame is just an energy. It's not a real person. And therefore, you don't have to look for a person. Go out and, you know, get hammered with everyone that you want to get hammered with. No, that's not true. That is absolutely not true. So I hope that you don't take that advice as spiritual advice. Focus on you, and that's how you know. Get balanced with energy work by me. So there is uh, quite a number of people that have multidimensional experiences. Now, this is where I see there's sort of the split up there. I see people in the Twin Flame community who don't really have the higher level experiences. And you're viewing and you're wondering, hey, where's mine? I get that. Here to help you with that. And you have other people that are having these this boom bang experiences, uh, near death experiences. They died for several minutes. They see the tunnel. They come back. They, they're flying around in the astral plane. And yet they have no clue that they are a twin flame. In fact, this is how I first started my channel. It was when it was pointed out to me um, by saying, there's some people that just think this is random energy. And I said, but it isn't. This is receiving the love back. And what my higher self said was, start doing some videos. Start talking about what you know. Because my perceptions were... Um, I think very clearer. It's not a criticism of other people, but they were receiving it in the way that they could accept it. Okay, like that saying, you know, take what resonates and take what doesn't. Well, at certain points in time, only certain things resonate. Then you move along and, and then it, you expand and you're like, oh, now I get it. It's like that with everything. It would be like if someone were teaching the ABCs and someone said, but what do these ABC symbols have to do with anything? But then someone said, here, read this. Read it. It's really good. 
and you'll enjoy it. And someone could say, oh my God, now I can put it all together. Yes, they can. Okay, and that is what we're doing here. You are putting yourself together. You have a brand new twin flame body. And I know this, I'm meaning I know the body. I know the structure of it. It is brand new. And this is why I say this. It is not an old level. There are several new areas. There are new, there's new functionality. And there's a new ending to some of the things that have troubled people. So to give you an idea, if you think that you're going into your twin flame togetherness and babysitting someone or cleaning up after them after they're getting drunk or continuing to take someone to the hospital, for the most part, you will not. But that only happens if you're focused on what you're here for because the integration of the twin flame body is absolutely number one top priority. This is why um, the phone line goes dead. People will say, well, why am I not getting COVID? Are you even learning how to heart communicate? If not, we just talked about that in my class. So join one of my classes, have a session, because we will do that in your session. Thanks so much for watching, and have a wonderful day. Thank you.